So, Tsiolkovsky's equ equation. Um, we, have to ex we have to introduce the concept of called delta v. What's the velocity change I need my rocket to get to to go into orbit? So there's a certain delta v that requires to escape Earth's gravity. There's a certain delta v required to go into low Earth orbit. A higher delta v to go into high Earth orbit. And then, of course, to go to the moon or to go to Mars. They're all expressed as how, what kind of delta v that, that I need, or dv. This is Tsiolkovsky's equation. And, and uh, it's actually been quite simplified. This is the genius of Tsiolkovsky. Uh, the delta v is, is uh, in an exponential term, that's, that's the natural logarithm e. Delta v is put into the exponent as the numerator of the exponent. This little v e is the exhaust velocity of the rocket. So you can see the, the, the more velocity you need to get based on the exhaust velocity of the rocket, the higher this term gets and the smaller this term gets because that's a minus sign over here. Well, that explains what, what, this, what these terms are. What is this over here? That's the percent of your, of your weight that must be fuel. The percent of your weight that must be fuel. And if you look at an example problem, this is a real example. So let's take a real example of, an, of a, a rocket that needs to get to 4,500 meters per second. That's the exhaust velocity. And it needs to get to a DV of 9,700 meters per second. That's for Earth orbit. So we know it has to get to this velocity, and here's the exhaust velocity of the rocket. So you, you divide these two and put those up here, and that'll give you a number over here. And then you can compute your mass propellant ratio. So it looks like 9,700 divided by 4,500, right? And compute this, and one minus that, you get 88% of the rocket has to be fuel. That's the problem. Yeah, so you have to use this chart. I'll give you, if I give you this on a test, you'll have to, I'll give you this chart. The chart is kind of tricky because this mass ratio is M0 over M1. It's M0 over M1. So, it's a little, so let's take an example. Suppose my delta V was, let's say it's 2.3. I'm right here at 2.3. So I come up here and I say, oh, my mass ratio is 10. So 10 is M0 over M1. So M1 over M0 must be one-tenth, right? So if I put one-tenth in here, I get one minus one-tenth. Ninety percent of the rocket must be fuel. You see how to do it? I'm going to do it one more time, okay? So if I, if I know the delta V to VE, I come over here, let's pick another one. Let's say that it's three. If it's over here at three, I come up here and I see, oh, the M0 over M1 is 20. So M1 over M0 must be one over 20, which is 0.05. So if I put 0.05 in here, I get 95. 95% of the rocket must be fuel. You see how, how your payload... So you can see how it goes crazy over here. If your delta V, if you have a lot of delta V to get, you're basically just sending fuel up into space. You're burning gas to put something up there. You have no payload. There's that, maybe you get an astronaut in there, maybe, but probably not. That's Tsiolkovsky's equation. Here's some examples of what the delta V looks like. Um, look here. It takes a delta V of 8 to get to Earth orbit. But once I'm in Earth orbit, what does it take to get to the moon? Oh, Earth orbit, only 6. You see, it takes less delta V to get to the moon from Earth orbit than it does to get up. And that's because the gravity of the Earth, gravity of the Earth is so, so good. So here's our percentage of rockets that we have for solid, <laughs> different fueled rockets. And you can see that the hydrogen, the hydrogen has the best has the best the, or oh, the least fuel required per, per pound of payload. It's the least the least fuel required from CO cost equation. This equation drives almost right. And this is why when I when I see Elon Musk with this big rock, this big steel rocket, right? And have, I'm, I'm sitting here, well how did he solve CO cost equation? I haven't seen anything technical that shows how he's addressed this. But it's gonna be a miracle to me how he doesn't eventually have stages. <laughs> Because right now, stages is the only practical way to, to address your cost these equations.